Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to, well, I am, and you, you too, I guess, if you're watching me, I am going to try out a new gizmo that I ordered for the ZX Spectrum Next computer. Actually, I guess primarily for the Kickstarter 2 version of the Next, which is going to be shipped to me in the near future, I understand. So I do have a Kickstarter 1 version right here, which I've shown you before, which I have my external SD card reader attached to. And as you know, anyone who's familiar with the Specky Next, it has a built-in, well, it has an SD card reader built in, and it comes with an SD card, which I've heard that on the Kickstarter 2 version is very difficult to remove or can be very difficult to remove. I guess it fits in very tightly. And these, as you know, are not spring-loaded cartridge or SD card slots. They don't pop in and pop out. You have to manually pull them out by grabbing them. Now on the Kickstarter 1 version, it seems very easy, at least for me, to take the card in and out. It's quite easy to grab it and take it in and out. Just like that, and it falls out. But apparently on the Kickstarter 2 version, some of the units, or maybe all of the units, I don't know, but at least some of them have been reported to be very tight fitting. So if you want to get this card out, it can be difficult. And I think some people have actually uh, damaged their cards trying to get it out. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with the design of the Specky Next. I prefer would, I, I personally would prefer to have a pop-in, pop-out style reader, but I understand that those contain more moving parts and they're more prone to failure, so I can understand why the next development team chose to go with a more simplified, more reliable, non-pop-in, pop-out version of the SD card reader. But apparently I've heard that it can be difficult to get the card in and out. So in order to prepare for the arrival of my Kickstarter 2 version, Specky Next, I've ordered this gizmo here, which you won't be able to read the label, but that's okay, because I'll read it to you. It is called SDHC SD, that's a lot of acronyms. So it's called SDHC SD card slash micro D extension adapter. Now I don't know if this is going to actually be useful or not, or how well it's going to work. Is an extension of the SD card reader. And I'm guessing probably some of you, as soon as you watch me making this video, you probably already know whether or not this is going to work. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to try it out. <clears throat> so what this, I'm guessing, what I'm hoping this is going to do for me, if I can get it out of the anti-static bag here. <laughs> okay, there. So this is just a circuit board that you plug into the card reader and then it extends it out farther so that it should be more accessible for me to remove that card. And there are versions of this you can buy that have a pigtail attached, so it's actually a flex ribbon cable that has the card insert on one end and then an external SD card reader on the other end. And this one actually has a micro card reader as well. So I guess you could either use a full-size card with it on this side or on the back side maybe you can plug in directly the micro SD card into this little micro slot here I'm guessing so I'm gonna try both of those out today see how this works I don't particularly want to risk damaging my SD card in my Specky Next Kickstarter 2 version so I'm going to go ahead and try just with my Kickstarter 1 version next here to see how this extension works on this version of the next. And I'm guessing it would probably work similarly on the Kickstarter 2 version, but obviously I'll have to wait a little bit before I can try that out for sure. So first of all, let me just try to put this into the slot and see if it looks like it's going to fit even just uh, without trying any electronic testing. So... That went in pretty easily. So there we go. We have 
the extension now on my Specky Next. And I know of you, probably a lot of you are feeling worried about having something sticking out the edge of the Next like that, that it would be easy to break off or damage by having something sticking out the side of it like this. And that's, uh, to tell you the truth, I'm a little bit worried about that myself, but I'm usually pretty careful about my uh, equipment. So right now I'm mainly just interested to see if electrically this extension is going to work. But before I do any electronic testing, I am going to just do some physical testing to see how it is putting this SD card into this reader. So I'm not anticipating any problems, but let's go ahead and give it a try here. So if I slide this in, it slides in very easily. Oh, and this one actually, I didn't realize that this one is actually a click in, click out version. So that's cool. That's an interesting uh, surprise. I didn't even, I didn't realize this was a click in, click out, but it is. Cool. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is try using just the micro SD card here. And I'm going to see about putting this one into the micro SD card reader on the back, which I wouldn't normally bother doing because, well, for one thing, the, the micro SD card reader is on the bottom side of this card, so it would be more difficult to access since it's facing down onto the tabletop. But let me just shove it in there and see how it goes. Obviously it's a bit more fiddly to line it up, but not too bad. Oh, and this one is a click in, click out as well. Can you see what's happening here? Okay, so that's pretty cool. All right, so physically, so far I'm pretty satisfied with the way these things are fitting in. Although, uh, I noticed just trying to get the micro SD card reader out here, trying to pull this out, it clicks in, can you see, and it clicks out, but even once it's clicked out, it seems like the micro SD card reader has a bit of resistance to pulling out of the reader. So I don't think the, let me see if the, if the large version of the SD card has that same resistance. So if I pop it out, yeah, there is some resistance, but it's not too bad. So it seems like this would be, whoops. It seems like this would make it more accessible to use with the Specky Next. And I guess instead of popping out this, uh, instead of popping the card in and out, like if you want to load more games and programs onto this card, or if you want to reformat it or whatever you want to do, I'm guessing you could just take this reader out just completely like this and, and shove this entire card into your computer reader for transferring files if you have a full size SD card reader on your computer. So let's go ahead and power up the next now with this extension in it and see how it works. So I'll just put this micro card back in here. Okay, so now this is ready to go and I'm going to slap it into the card reader of this extension. There you go, so now that's ready to go. And let's go ahead and hook this up and we'll see what happens. All right, here we are. I've got my Kickstarter one version Specky Next connected up with the SD card extender board installed in it. And I've got it hooked up to my video capture card using HDMI. So let's go ahead and power it on here and we'll see if this SD card extender board works. So here we go, three, two, one. Unit has power and I see, oh, there we go. So far it looks like it's booting okay. A 
browser demos yep so it looks like this extender card works and I'll just uh, go to a demo here I guess what's this uh, do your love let's see what this does tap file I don't think I've loaded the tap file before let's try it out bytes temp okay Sarah by Fleetwood Mac oh I guess this is I don't think this is capturing audio so there probably is audio in this demo but I'm not capturing it at the moment I don't think do you love okay so it looks like this SD card extension board so far is working so now what I'm going to do is how do I reset I'll just turn this off and I'll turn it back on and I just want to check if my external card reader is also still showing up which should be drive D I believe so yeah you can see I've got 768k of RAM and if I go down here you can see it has logical drives C D and M and if I go to browser uh, then down here it gives me the option D for drive if I click D then it is now switched to my D drive if I just keep pressing D it should cycle through my different drives so now this says OM up here it looks like and if I click D again it goes to the C drive up here I'll click D again so now I'm on my external drive here which is D and you can see I've got all kinds of stuff over on my D drive uh, bikers etc there's more stuff on here than I thought J basic J junk let's see let's just try something on here and here I've got my retro island game right here retro island dot BAS let me try that so there it is if I type run run there we go escape from retro island feeling better press the key so you may have seen this uh, game featured on one of my previous videos which way to go so this looks like it's working well this ex extender card uh, adapter thing so now I'm going to turn off my next like that and I'm going to remove this extender card from the machine and to remove it obviously you just pull it out just like that since the built-in SD card reader is not a click in click out you just pull it in and out and now what I'm going to do is try taking out this uh, full-size SD card and I'm going to remove the micro SD card from this adapter that comes with the Specky next and I'm going to try just for the heck of it putting this micro SD card into the back side of this adapter which again is click in and click out not that I plan to use the micro SD version of this card although I guess I could but let's just try it out and see if it works so I'll plug in this adapter back into this Becky next here and I've got my micro SD card in there already and we'll go ahead and turn this on now and see how this works there we go let's see if it comes up yeah and it looks like that works as well I'll just wait for it to finish booting up here and I haven't uh, updated my firmware to the latest version I think I'm probably still on an older version but that shouldn't matter I'm guessing so browser retro island run and we're back in retro island so there we go so far it seems like my initial testing of this SD card extender device seems to work pretty well so I'm hoping that would save me any uh, potential of damaging the internal SD card that comes with the Specky Next Kickstarter 2 version and uh, let me just switch back to my full screen and we'll do a bit of a wrap up all right so so far it looks like my initial testing of this SD card extender adapter PCB seems to be working well I think it might help me out to possibly prevent damaging the SD card in my Kickstarter 2 version of next so I'm going to probably do a bit more testing with this 
on my Kickstarter 1 version just to make sure there's no hiccups. I don't know if it might affect the data transfer rates or anything like that, although I, don't, I wouldn't expect that it would because there's no circuitry on this. It's just an extension circuit board, but you never know. It might be adding a little extra distance to the signal's uh, travel path and I don't know what other potential options uh, or potential issues there might be in adding a device like this. But like I said, as you just saw, my initial testing seemed to work okay with both the full-size SD card slot as well as the micro SD card slot. So there you go. There's my initial testing of this SD card extension PCB. If you are interested in trying it out, there's several different versions available on Amazon. And so far, this one seemed to work okay for me with my initial testing. So that's it for this video. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.